Today is the 19th of August, and this day in Baptist history, our reading is the repudiation of freedom of worship. Our passage of scripture comes from Acts chapter 12 and verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. When I was a teenage lad, I can well remember my saintly old pastor requesting that our congregation pray for imprisoned Baptist preachers in the province of Quebec, Canada. One of our members was personally related to one of the abused Baptist preachers in Quebec, and he kept our congregation well informed of the abuses Baptists were receiving there. To this very day, religious oppression is still to an extent being experienced by Baptist pastors as religious freedom and soul liberty are still not fully practiced in the province of Quebec. Though the Canadian Constitution has long granted freedom of religion to all of its citizens, on January 12, 1954, Premier Duplessis introduced Bill 38, an amendment of the Freedom of Worship Act of the Quebec Legislature. This bill is too lengthy to reproduce in its entirety, but it provides for imprisonment for any offense and furthermore, any incredible person could lodge a protest. It was apparent that the purpose of the bill was to shut down the Baptist ministries that be, had begun in earnest in Quebec in the early 1950s. Baptists had been preaching in open air ministries and the Catholic dominated authorities concluded that something must be done. They had tried repressive tactics and even imprisonments, but the Baptists persisted. Allow his historical illustration to portray the activities. On July 24, 1950, when Baptist church members gathered for their usual Saturday evening street meeting in Lassar, just off the main street, the townspeople too had gathered. The members of the church began to sing, What can wash away my sin? And as they did, mobsters began to swarm about them. The unruly crowd screamed and cursed the Baptist pastor. They blew toy horns and a loudspeaker blasted the discordant music of the world. Cars converged with horns sounding a cacophony of blaring and a deafening roar. Potatoes and eggs were thrown and during the entire affair neither provincial nor municipal police lifted a hand to quell the savage attacks. Instead, after the, after the believers had been brutally manhandled by the mob, the so-called custodians of peace declared the innocent victims under arrest and led men and women away to be locked up in jail. Other tactics were tried as well as is illustrated in the following account. On August 19, 1950, three special policemen were sworn in to service by the Lasserre Police Department. The purpose of their hiring was not to maintain law and order, but expressly to throttle down the Baptist pastor and his members as they proclaimed Christ on the street. This purpose was confirmed when a local 16-year-old Roman Catholic heard the chief of police giving specific instructions not to hit the pastor on the street, but to take him to a private lot and administer a beating. It was because of this type of activity that it became necessary for the provisional government of Quebec to preempt the national constitution and write a law that vindicated their activity. During those years, quite a few Baptist preachers were imprisoned in Quebec. Among the better known were Wilson Ewan, E-W-I-N, Lauren Heron, Murray Heron, and Dr. William L. Phillips. These and other Baptist pastors served 45 sentences for daring to preach the word of God without fear or favor. The gospel is still being preached in Montreal and throughout the province of Quebec. Heathenism is not confined to cultures that are impoverished educationally. Paganism abounds today everywhere that Christ is not known. To God be the glory.